We begin with breaking news. Former Charger Vincent Jackson has been found dead in a hotel room in Florida. Jackson was a three-time Pro Bowler wide receiver who was drafted by the Chargers in 2005 and played in San Diego for six years before going on to play for Tampa Bay. Fox 5 Sports Director Troy Hershey's here with what we're learning about Jackson's death and the impact that he had here on San Diego. And Maria, this news has hit the entire Chargers family from the blind side. Police in the Tampa suburb of Brandon, Florida say a housekeeper in a hotel found Vincent Jackson dead this morning in a hotel room with no apparent sign of trauma. The police say Jackson had stayed in the room for the past month. He's lived in the Tampa area since he joined the Buccaneers back in 2012. Jackson started his pro career here in San Diego in 2005 when the Chargers used a second round pick out of Northern Colorado on him. The, that was then a Division II college. The 6'5", 230-pound wide receiver had a great combination of size and speed, and in his 12 seasons in the NFL, he had six 1,000-yard receiving years and made the Pro Bowl three times. I remember how excited he was to make his first Pro Bowl back in 2009 and also remember his easygoing demeanor as well as his warm smile. Jackson played his final five NFL seasons with the Buccaneers. The Chargers released a statement saying they are shocked and deeply saddened by the news and pointed out the work that he did with military families through his foundation. I reached out to a couple of his former teammates and coaches and former Chargers linebacker Stephen Cooper summed up the reaction very well. Pretty much in shock, still can't believe it. Um, a guy that's four to five years younger than myself um, had his whole, his whole life to live. And just to get these news this afternoon is just crazy. Great talent as a football player for sure. Everybody knows that big, fast, aggressive. But as a human being, uh, fun, loving, great teammate. Um, always showed up to work, ready to get after it with his teammates. And definitely he was close to home just because of what has been transpiring through the NFL through these last couple of years with just um, concussion stuff and just people taking their lives and just people losing their lives due to certain things. So it's just mind boggling right now because we don't know the information on what cause of death it is. So I don't want to just speculate right now, but my thoughts and prayers go out to his family, his kids, and um, you know, the whole Jackson family. I also traded text messages with James Lofton, Jackson's position coach for his first couple of seasons here in the NFL, and he wrote, devastated by the news. I loved coaching him and being his friend in retirement. My prayers go out to his wife, Lindsay, and his children. Jackson was just 38 years old, Maria. Yeah, almost too young to go at that point in time. All right. Well, thank you very much, Troy. Vincent Jackson left a major mark on San Diego, and Phil Blair continues our team coverage with reaction to Jackson's death, Phil. Yeah, Maria, good afternoon. Uh, Troy touched on this briefly from the Los Angeles Chargers. They simply said with the blue heart here, gone too soon. Part of that statement, as Troy mentioned, dealt with his uh, work that he d has done with military families. He can't, they said they can't believe he's gone. The hearts go out to his loved ones. Also from former teammate Sean Merriman. You come in as teammates and you leave as brothers. Some things are hard to understand, hard to figure out why, but I'm not questioning God's plans. I'm going to miss those occasional calls to call me soft and me coming to say my face, sweetie pie, lots of laughter. And then from Pat McAfee, uh, of course, uh, very famous for his talk show, used to be a punter, man just got home out of the blizzard. Vincent Jackson passed away. He was a damn good football player. I'm absolutely bummed for everybody involved, gone way too soon. Rest easy, boss, man. And Marie, you can imagine the tribute still pouring in as we speak.